Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to talk to you about the WD Black external game drives and how you can use these drives to enhance your Steam library and allow you to install more games more easily without installing extra drives in your PC, which is a total bonus. Now, this is one of several variations of WD Black's external drive. There's the P10, the P50, and the D10. Now, these are all different variants in different sizes. So, for example, there's one that has a large sort of platter based hard drive but has more storage capacity and then the p50 is the small ultra fast nvme style which is more expensive and the p10 is kind of the middle ground which is kind of semi affordable not too expensive but still reasonably fast and has a decent amount of storage to it this p10 drive was temporarily sent to me for testing and review purposes but what i wanted to do was create a video which is a slight unboxing and then a guide to how to use this drive to basically install more Steam games without all the faffing around of having to put another drive into your PC. So if you're not terribly versed on installing hard drives in your PC, then this is an excellent way of doing it. And it's plug and play, so it's fantastic. Here you can see I already have loads of drives on my PC and there lots of them are full to the brim with videos and games and all sorts. So this WD Black P10 is an H as a library. Just plug it in, it's automatically recognized. And then what you can do is you can create a new Steam library and essentially just install games within it. And then you can boot straight from that drive and play the games from there. So it's a great way of adding extra games and it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is launch your Steam library, open up and find a game Game that you want to install so in this case I'm going to just pick a random game from a collection uh, that isn't already installed I'm going to go for armor 3 you just click on the install button and then you get the option to install under H now already I've got a steam library there but you can see create new steam library is the way to do it so you look for the option create new steam library under the drive letter the correct one in my instance it's H but in yours it might be a slightly different one and then you just click next and that will download and then it will install in there. Now you can obviously unplug that drive when you're not using it and the game won't be recognized and you won't be able to launch it. But once you plug it back in again, it's easy to boot from it. And I've done this with a couple of different games. I put Tropico 6 on there as an example and you can see it installed here. And because the drive is plugged in, it's able to play it. Now, if you right click and go into properties, you can browse the local files so you can see they are installed on the H drive and you can see where they are. But you also have the option to move them. So if you choose to move games that are already installed on your PC, let's say on C or on another drive, you could move them to the external drive to then free up space on your PC. That's another option. So there's various different ways to use it. And this P10 drive, as I said, is pretty affordable. I'll leave links in the description so you can see how much it is. And it's robust. It's got this really nice metal housing on it and rubber edges. And it's really nice, really well designed little drive. Plug and play affair just comes with a simple USB cable, plugs in nice and easily. And I found the games installed pretty quick on it as well. It is a 2.5 inch drive, so it's not terribly fast. It's not NVMe style, but it is pretty good. If you're looking for the faster one, there's the P50, and if you want larger size, then there's the D10. But this is a brilliant option. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.